Welcome to Measurement Part 3B. In this um, video lecture, we're going to look a little more closely at density and how we can use it as a conversion factor. Let's get started. All right, so from previous lectures, we remember, right, matter is defined as anything with, I'll give you a second to fill that in, I'm sure you don't need me for that, All right? Matter and, oops, excuse me, mass and volume, right? Matter is matter, right? So matter is anything with mass and volume. And so this is where units come in super helpful, right? So we can look, right, G for grams or ounces, or we could do pounds. And if you weren't born in this country, um, the abbreviation for pounds is LB, and that can seem kind of strange. But where it came from is um, really like Libre, right? Or Libra, if you're a Libra in your zodiac sign, right? It's the balance. And so originally when we did weights, we would use some sort of balance. So Libre, LB for pound. Now volume, right? The other aspect of matter is volume. And so now we would be looking at like milliliters. Um, the English system, right? Ounces are for a mass and fluid ounces are for a volume. So it's important to pay attention to those details. And then we've also talked about, right, volume. Um, when it's a liquid, milliliters, fluid ounces, but solids, we tend to look at um, distance cubed. All righty. So here is the definition of density in English. Density is the ratio of mass to volume. So let's translate that into mathematics, right? So D for density is, there's our equal sign, right? Mass to volume, mass over volume, okay? And to keep that straight, when I was learning it, I thought about M, right? M is like mountains, mountains go up high, and V, valley, valley down low. Right, so the mass is on top because mountains are up high and the volume is low because valleys are low. All right, so we wanna be able to know the definition of density. However, when we're working with density, we really wanna use it as a conversion factor. So anytime I say conversion factor, it means we're gonna have, right? So like X grams equals Y milliliters, right? So a conversion factor is where we've found a relationship between two things. So this would be an example of a density conversion factor. So let's um, practice with aluminum, all right? So the symbol for aluminum is AL. So and, um, we wanna find the density. So what is the density? All right, so here's where units are gonna help us. We see that there's 230 grams. So looking at that, we know what kind of unit is grams. That's a mass unit, all right? And then if we look, right, the aluminum block occupies 85 cubic centimeters of space. So there's our volume unit. So we recognize that as volume. So this is an example of how when we're looking at a word problem, the units can help us sort out the information. So now we're trying to find the density, and we know density is mass over volume. So the mass goes on the top. There's the 230 grams, and then there's our volume down below, right? So 85 centimeters cubed, and now we notice none of the units cancel. Density has funky units, right? So our answer will be grams over centimeters cubed because the units of density are always, there's always two units. And so we plug this into our calculator and we get 2.7 grams. Now you guys know about sig figs now. So if we look at the mass, it has two sig figs and the volume has two sig figs. So our final answer should have two sig figs. So there will be questions in class where you're simply going to be asked, what is the density of a substance? But it can also be very helpful to think of this like a conversion factor. So in aluminum world, right, for all things aluminum, 
there's 2.7 grams in every centimeter cubed, right? Because we know every number is over one, right? We all know that. Okay, so this is our conversion factor. All right, so let's see how we can use that in a question. All right, so here, what do we want to know? What is the volume in centimeters cubed? Okay, that's what we're trying to figure out. Oh, and it's also, and it's aluminum. So we're going to be able to use our aluminum information, right? If it weighs 710 grams. So this is our mass. All right, so we see mass and volume, ding, ding, ding. We know we're going to need density. So where do we start? Well, for this block, the only thing we know about this block is it weighs 710 grams. So let's start with what we know. Okay, so that's 710 grams of aluminum. Now this is where we're going to use our density. Now, this is the definition of density, grams over, right? Mass over volume, grams over centimeters cubed. But in this question, we're given grams. Grams are on the top. So it can be very helpful to write it as a conversion factor because it reminds us, right? The unit analysis says that if we have grams on the top and we're trying to get to centimeters cubed, this is our bridge. So we're going to want to have grams on the bottom and centimeters cubed on the top. So for the density of aluminum, it's 2.7 grams and one centimeter cubed. So now we see, right, so we, had, we flipped the density and that's fine because these are equal to each other. So now the grams cancel. And I'll put the aluminum in there just to keep it, right? So it's important we write the number, the unit, and as the course gets more complex, the substance. So the sooner we build those habits, the better off we are. All right, so now we see, right, so the grams have canceled and we're left with centimeters cubed, and that's what we were after. So at this point, we know we're done. Our setup is complete. We're gonna punch this into our calculator. Everything in the numerator gets multiplied. Everything in the denominator gets divided. So we punch this into our calculator, and it's gonna spit out 263 centimeters cubed. Now we wanna go back and look at our sig figs. Right? No decimal. So this is a two sig fig value, two sig figs. So we're going to take our final answer and put report it as two sig figs. Now remember what sig figs are telling us. They're telling us about the accuracy and precision of the number. They're saying that we can totally trust the two, but the six, the six is bouncing around. There's uncertainty there. So there's no sense giving any details. So when we would rewrite this, we would rewrite it as 260 centimeters cubed of aluminum. All right, so there's our two sig figs, one, two. There's our question mark. Remember that we don't want to change the value of the number. Think money. If somebody owes you $263, you'll probably be kind and generous and let them pay you 260 and call it good. But if someone tries to pay you $26, you're gonna say, I don't think so. So remember what sig figs are about. Sig figs are just telling us where we trust the number. Okay, now let's do one last example. So now we wanna find the mass of a third block of aluminum. And we're gonna find that in grams. And this time, we are given the volume as 120 centimeters cubed, All right? So once again, mass and volume, ding, 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 it's gotta be density, All right? So this time we start with what we're given. We know we have 120 centimeters cubed of aluminum. And we wanna get to mass. So once again, we're gonna use our density conversion factor. But this time we have centimeters cubed on the top. So we'll put centimeters cubed on the bottom and grams on the top. Right, and centimeters cubed has a one, and grams has a 2.7. So this time, we're getting rid of the centimeters cubed, 
and we're going to grams, which is what the question asks for. So now we can go ahead and punch this into our calculator. 120 times 2.7, and we're going to get 324 grams. And then once we've finished our calculation, take a deep breath. Look at the sig figs. Once again, two sig figs here, no decimal. Two sig figs hasn't changed. So we want to report two sig figs here. So this would be 320 grams of aluminum. Voila. All right. Once again, the, right, the two sig figs just tells us that we, we're guessing here. This is where we start to be unsure. All righty. So that wraps up our um, discussion of density and how we can use it as a conversion factor.